when you fall in love with somebody, they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecos. Make you feel like say you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. CDA, I love you so. I don't wanna let you go. But I just want to let you know, let you know that I love you so. Yeah. Beware your friend, beware your foe, beware your friend. Just beware what you say and what you do. Beware, just beware. <laughs> you didn't get to wake me up for shower. Hmm. You came back late yesterday, so I thought you were tired. I decided to leave you to rest. I'm leaving now. Okay. I'll see you later, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, baby. Oh. Okay, yeah. Cheers. Bye. Oh. See you later, baby, okay? Right, baby. All right, Hello, my sweet mother-in-law. <laughs> Good morning, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Please, I want to find out. Is your husband still at home? No, he just left for the office. Ah, ah. We ought to see today in his office. And I've been calling his phone. It's switched off. Okay, ma. Don't worry. I... <clears throat> I will catch up with him in the office. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for me. Good morning. I'm off to work. Um, I also have um test today in school. See you when you're back. Oh. 
fall in love with someone if they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like say you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. See the way I love you so. I don't wanna let you go. But I just want to let you know, let you know that I love you so. Oh, oh, beware your friend, beware your foe, beware oh, your friend, oh, just beware oh, what you say oh, and what you do, oh, beware, oh, just beware, oh, just beware, oh, just beware. Oh, even oh, your intimate oh, friend, okay, that's good. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, that place is fine. Tina. Oh, madam. Yeah, please stay and take this back to the car. All right. Uh, madam, what is wrong? You don't look yourself today. Mm. Yeah, you know this. Sure. Uh -huh. I don't blame you. If my so-called husband and blood sister would forget my birthday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, ma. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like say you can walk up from Lagos to Damascus. Oh, you love us. Hey, 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 yeah, hi guys. How are you? Yeah. How's it going? Okay. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just have your seat. Just sit up. Please have the drink. The drink, please. The drink, 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 the drink. Ouch. Okay, okay, I'm not going to wait for her to come. Okay, wait. Okay, no. no, 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 no. Don't let open. Her. Let her come oh, first. Oh, Mama, you can drink this. Officer, she was overfeeding. She know that. But I will let her go. Because it just only made side mirror. But, Madam, drive carefully. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <sighs> Officers. I'm really so sorry about the speeding. It will never happen again. Sure, I know it's not going to happen again. But you have to help me so that I can help you. How? I will hold you down for the best time to drive you home. Okay. No joke. I don't understand what is happening now. Hold on. Something. Honestly, I just get it. You got to do it now. You got to do it now. Someone should just call up. Foot pads. Nah. Foot pads. Come on. No, no, you just keep saying, just calm down. For the past one half. You know what's going on? Foot pads. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Just be a good thing. At times, then there is to the press. Why don't you just take it for it and call her? Let's do everything. Let's do everything. What is it? What is it? Yes. It's past the time. And she's not yet back home. And you know you came up with this idea of phones off. I, I don't understand. If anything happens to her, I, I'm not there. I'm, I'm not there. I'm tired. I'm, I'm not sure I'm into this game anymore. I just have to on my phone. Look, it's just part of the phone. No more surprises. Call her. Hello, sis? Where are you? 
I've been trying to reach you guys all day. What's going on? Your phone is switched off. Um, is it? Give him the phone. Give him the phone, please. Okay, okay. Open. Okay, he's here. <laughs> what is it? Sorry, Hello, baby. Babe, please. You have to be here. I was over speeding and the policemen pulled me over and they said they need someone to come and take me out of here. What? Is she okay? Where? By go on gate. Go on, yes. Wait, wait, wait. I'm should coming. I, All right. Should I come with you? No, no, just come back. Uh, nothing, just relax. Relax, just relax. Nothing, nothing much. Are you nothing sure? much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing. Do you care for drinks or anything? No, no, no. Don't worry, just be patient, huh? Okay. Okay. Madam, madam, just calm down. Calm down. I told you that. Oh, good. Thank you very much. I meant to set you with a speed. Yes, sir. That's why I held her down. So that someone can drive out. Oh, thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Madam, please, next nice time, eh? Thank Please, God bless you. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's go this picture. I can't believe you. You of all people. Huh? Forgot my birthday. How disappointing is that? You? I can't imagine you all have forgot it's my birthday. What is going on? How how you of all people? How can you do that to me? Why? Oh, you know you're short of words. You don't have anything to say, right? Right? I'm talking to you. Let's okay. marry, let's yeah. have fun. I think this will be better. Uh, it is sweet. It takes some Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. Let's cut the cake first, then yeah, we'll get right. to that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that okay. burnt? <laughs> All right, cut it. Yeah, on um, S E. commend you for your perseverance and patience. Thank you. I've known you guys for over eight years now and we've been on the same issue. Endometriosis. Um, Madam, I want to appeal to you, please continue with your fertility medication. Um, doctor, what are you saying? You mean
Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ma. Sis, come and join us. Are uh, you sure everything is okay with her? Yes. Her look, right? Of course. I guess not. Okay, let me check on her. Yeah, please do, all right? Okay. Don't keep me waiting down here, though. from Request will be answered. And I believe your God is not dead. Okay. <laughs> Is everything okay? I mean, you've been in this mood for a while. Hmm? Yeah, come on, what's wrong? Everything is not okay. Ooh. This is like over eight years now. No offspring. The next two to make it a decade. Getting any younger. I know. I know, but hey, why don't we go chill over there? Then we can talk. Hmm? Let's just refresh over there. Yeah? If I were in your shoes, I'd probably feel like that too. There is no man who wants to be in a marriage without children. If you consider eight years from the point of view of God, that's just like yesterday. Come on, man. If, if you're behaving like this, what would you want your wife to do? Hmm? Believe me, my friend, I really can't think. I, don't, I, I can't think straight right now. I know. I know. What exactly is on your mind? The doctor said endometriosis. Endo what? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. Um, it's a very important factor in infertility. You see, it's when there's this um, tubal blockage. Oh. Yeah. All that kind of problems? It well, is. have you spoken to her about it? About what? What we discussed the last time I came? Oh, come Adoption. On, come on. Look, if I do, she'll start thinking that I've started losing hope on her. And you know how much I really love her. Man, this is serious. Yes. That is my problem for now. I know you're stronger. Hello. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, oh, good to see you. <laughs> how are you? Hey, you're 
I bought so many Wii U girls. Hey, you inspire these children. Thank you so much. I'll have to say thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. Mama, why are you teaching my children to call Selina mommy? Is she their mommy? You children. Don't you know your mommy when you see her? Does she look like your mommy? Let's go. Selina, join me, my dear. My dear Selina. Mm. Mama, can I have a word with you? Sure. I can't deny the fact that you've been so good to me. <laughs> You're the best mother-in-law any wife could ask God for. Thank God. But the fact still remains that I haven't been able to give you a grandchild. Uh -oh. And I want you to know that my husband and I are trying the best we can. I know. Send it now. Give me your hands. <laughs> My mother warned me never to put pressure on my daughter's in law, no matter what. She should know that many wives are brought in bastards to their husbands' houses just because of the pressure from the husbands' families. Yes. So, I want to search to not worry, okay? God's time is the best, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't cry. Silly, <laughs> silly. When you fall in love with someone, they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like, say, you can walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. I don't want to let you go But I just want to let you know Let you know That I love you so yeah. Beware your friend Beware your foe Beware your friend Just beware what you say And what you do Beware your story Your tale Your pain And your shame I can feel I guess you love the hell out of all this man. What are you talking about? Get out of here. It's a nice feeling. Yeah, it is. something. What is it, Sarah? Mm. Um. Speak up. Um. 
Have you thought about adoption? Yes. Adoption. <laughs> How are you, my dear? Uh, Mama, I'm fine. I'm fine. I want to find out uh, if you are free today. Um, you see, I'm queued for a meeting in the next 20 minutes. I... I need to talk to you about something. You know what, Mama? Um, let's say weekend. I think that would be much better. Ah, I, I will expect you. All right, Mama. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you on weekend. Thank you, my darling. Have a wonderful day. Okay, ma. Yeah. Yeah. So no problem. So I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah, sure. Who was that? It's um Who? Oh, she? Why is she calling you? So you still have a number? Well actually she just called to check up on me. Oh really? Check up on you. <laughs> is it because I don't go through your phone? I trust you enough not to check your phone. Mm-mm, mm mm. See, Tara, don't start. Okay? Don't even go there. I mean, do I normally receive such calls? No talk. What has trust got to do with this? Look, a man that's gonna cheat definitely will cheat. You mean you can cheat on me? <laughs> come on. I'm not saying that. Come on, darling. Just shut up and give me a kiss. Go ahead. Come here. Mm, come on. Wait, 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 wait. You seriously <laughs> drove yourself all the way from that place? What else? That is bygone now. We are grown. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Son. Yes. I asked you to come because there is something very important I need to talk to you about. Okay. It's about you and um, your wife, Selina. Uh, look, if she had conceived from the moment you two got married, she should be nursing her third child right now. I think you know what I'm trying to talk about. I understand. I understand that you are getting old and you need to have your grandchild from me. Don't misquote me. All I am trying to suggest is that um, the two of you should try another system. Which system is that? I know you two are trying. And I assure you that I will support you in everything that you do. Are you suggesting that I marry another wife? Shut up, son. I should know why I want to take salt. I want to support it. Heavens bear me witness that I will not support such. All I am saying is that there's still a <laughs> hand to you remember Ayo, my best friend's son. Oh, yeah, I, I do. See, there's this new system him and his wife tried out. Um, what is the name again? Oh. <laughs> I think it's Suru Suru oh, Zero Zero. All I know is that, according to what my friend told me, 
that you don't need to sleep with another woman to get her pregnant. You don't. She even said that, uh -huh, that the doctor took something from her son, Ayo, and took something again from the wife. <laughs> they now injected it into another Mama, woman mama, mama. And what you're trying to say is called surrogate. <laughs> That's it. So, surrogate. You, you understand? When you fall in love with somebody, they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like say you can walk out from Lagos to Damascus. I can't wait to see him. See, why can't you go inside and excuse him for Mama? It's taking too long. Mama, calm down. He will soon be here. Calm down. So, he will soon be here. Okay, okay, no problem. Hi, brother. Yeah, hi. What do you say, Aito? Oh, hi. my bad. Brother? Yeah? From the expression on your face, I can see you and Mama really have a good discussion. I know. Anyway, meet my friend, Selma. Selma, meet my brother. He will be dying hi. to me. Oh. What do you mean by dying to me? God, uh, Selma is a single mother just like you. You know some men, they don't appreciate what they have until they leave. And this is an assurance that if he gets along with her very well, she will be able to bear you one, two, three, even any number of children you desire to have. I can see that you've had too much of drink. Brother, I'm coming to your house, so I'm coming tomorrow morning. Why, why is Calm it going? Calm down, it's me that is talking. <gasps> no, 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 I thought you said you are in control of everything. Yes, I am. You are I not. Am. You are not. I am. Calm down, tell her. Chill, baby. Chill. Chill. Please. Negative again. Oh, God. I need my own baby. I'm tired of my own baby. I'm tired of people staring down on me. I need Yesterday she was crying on top of her voice, and I think that is terrible. Yeah, terrible. I do talk to her also, but I think she's losing it. Because it's taking too long. She's still sleeping. Yeah, I had to put compulsion in the tea. Maybe I need some too, but what will We just have to keep talking to her. Um, I'll check up on her when she's awake.
hurry. Hey, you. I hope this food is self because I'm starving. I came to your room twice to check on you, but you were dead asleep. Yeah, I guess it's that tea I had this morning. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Tara, please get me food. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you should. <laughs> um, okay, come to the dining. Let me dish your food. Your favorite? What's that? Rice and fish stew. <gasps> Okay, yes. All right, let's go. Donovan? Yeah. I know you have tried, but well, you have to keep trying. What are you talking about? By now, I know when you're happy and when you are sad. And as a matter of fact, it is reasoning all over you. Really? Don't tell me anybody noticed that while the meeting was on. <laughs> like I said, it is written all over you. Hi, brother. Jane. Anyway, I want. Want to say hi to my friend? She's here for you, you know. Wait, wait. What do you mean by she came here for me? This is Selma, my friend that we met in our house the other time. Yes, I remember. Oh, let me do the talking. Oh, I like you. Although as a lady, I'm not supposed to be saying this. Yeah, ever since I've set my eyes on you, you've always been on my mind. I like you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I like you. You are so cute. Handsome. I love your skin. Tell me what you are looking for. Jane, if you Brother? don't stop this, I'll report you to Mama. You hear me? Now, both of you should get out of my house right now. I mean. I said both of you. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I'm going. Me. Did you not hear my I said both of you. Okay, I'm going. 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 Okay, I'm your mother-in-law is nothing compared to mine. By now, you would have been out of your husband's house. She doesn't call you to threaten you to leave her son's house or to leave for another woman. You are lucky. But wait, oh. How sure are you that your husband is not having an affair with... Hey, 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 hey. Angela, what is this now? Ha -ha. Oh. Don't even go there. Okay. My husband loves me more than anything in this world. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to look out for my dear friend before it is too late. And please, what are you insinuating? <laughs> Don't you think that one day your sweet, calm, ever loving, patient mother in law will run out of patience and she will manipulate your husband to try something new? That is if they have not tried it already. Could they have tried something? Are you serious right now? Are you? Okay. Um, if I'm in your, sh in your situation, what should you have me do? Okay. Girlfriend, medically, you are all right. What if the problem is from your husband? Have you thought about that? Angela. Don't shush me, please! Don't shush me, I beg! Anyways, how would you have known when you've not tried something new? Excuse me? Something new like? Girlfriend, you need to try something new with another man. Even if it is just once. Angela. Yes. Someone 
money, they make you feel like Spartacus. Or Gynecos, make you feel like say you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. CDA, I love you so. Hey, Mary. Ivra. That's how she has been since morning. She was just doing this shit. Even I was talking to her, she's not responding. Evra! Evra! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Who is this tall, handsome man you sometimes upload on your profile? Oh, you mean Harrison? No, Harrison. I knew Harrison even in that name. You upload a picture of you both in the kitchen about a week ago. Oh, you mean Uncle Donovan? Um, that's my sister's husband. We're just in the kitchen doing our thing, you know I'm a picture for Oh, fuck. I'm beginning to admire him. He's so handsome. And that's what my spec looks like. He's cute. I love him. What's your spec look like? Are you crazy? Ibra, I said my sister's husband. If you try anything stupid with my sister's husband, Ibra, I'm going to kill you. I'm serious. I think killing you would be the best thing. Because you think I will even forgive you for what you did to my brother. Huh? You this crazy bitch. Uh-uh. I'm not even sure you don't have anything to do with this guy. She's very, very stupid. Tyra, sorry, wait. Hey, why would you make such statement? Because we're friends. Oh, I can see the abyss of the same friend there. Look at that Right? There is love in cheering. Yeah. Now your Mary, uncle is Mary! Mary! Handsome. You girls, eh? It's just too handsome. You need to say that. On our two. On our two. He's just too handsome. My sister was When you fall in love with someone, they make you feel like Spartacus. Or Gynecus. Make you feel like, say, you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. See the way I love you so. She's not back yet. No, she's not. And her phone is still switched off. But where could she be? Spartacus or Gynecus Make you feel like say you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus Hola See the way I love you so I don't wanna let you go But I just want to let you know Let you know That I love you so yeah. Beware your friend Beware your foe Beware your friend Just beware what you say Surrogates. All I've heard is that um, your wife doesn't have to conceive before you have children. Something like that. Maybe you should talk to your doctor. That's your best bet. Yeah. I think I'll talk to Dr. Dugan. Uh -huh. I'm sure he'll help. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. What about the other thing that we were discussing? Oh, yeah. Mm, the thing is... simply a means for you to um, find happiness in all of this. It's, it's tested and trusted. Um, it's been a lot of success stories as regards this. So I uh, just feel at least it's one burden you and um, your wife, you know, and um, understanding the um, sensitivity of this issue, you know, thought it would be better to talk with you firsthand and uh, of course you can um, Convince her. She can't sit. Yeah. It's nothing to worry about. It's it's absolutely you know legal. 
get all your just all your preference. You know, see how far we've come on this and See, um, I realize that you've been under a lot of pressure lately. So, this is just to assure you that I would always be there for you. <laughs> you mean the world to me? Hmm. I can't imagine life without you. I have lost faith so many times, but you never cease to share yours with me. But you should know better. <laughs> you see, now I'm jealous more. Of what? Of you, of course. <laughs> I've always needed you more than you needed me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Look, babes, what you don't understand is you're more like at the end of the tunnel for me. There you go. What? Go away, Joe. <laughs> you always find a way to put a smile on my face. Um, see, I just always want to assure you that I will always be there for you. No matter what. Of course. Or what other choice do you have? Yeah, I know. I don't have any. Um, that's why I think um, we should try and see Dr. Dungan. For what? Um, I, 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 I think um, for surrogate cancelling. Since when have you been planning to tell me this? <laughs> For like, for a week now. Oh, really? That's why you planned this, yeah? Look, babe, it's because it's really, it's been very difficult for me to like really tell you this. Look, do you know I love you? And I want us to do this so we could just move on. I love you so much and with this we get to know well regardless of the results or whatever the outcome I still love you you mean the whole world to me I love you too thank you Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Donovan, see, choosing surrogacy as a path for you to having children is a very personal decision. Okay, and um, couples often feel left alone, you know, often feel out of place in taking these kind of decisions. But we would rightly want to assure you that these things are legal and they've been tested and trusted. You know, that's why we've taken our time to pull out real life cases and their testimonies you know, the success stories as regards this, so at least you can immediately relate with this. Uh, the first case study is Anderson and Jumoke. We met Anderson and Jumoke in 2012. Of course, the regular normal couple, you know, expectant and um, if I rightly remember, the first present Anderson gave to Jumoke was um, a name book, which to date remains one of the best gifts she has ever had, you know, and of course theirs became a miracle. Of course, the, so the path to surrogacy, you know, choosing surrogacy was an answer to their prayer, it was a miracle come true for them. So and that's why looking at your case here, you know, and it's, it's pretty much, it's something 
easily relatable to, you know. And of course, we have the case of Andy and um, Elizabeth, you know, which uh, it's not like it was an immediate success because, of course, when she first when she first got the name book from Anderson, Andy thought at that point that okay, fine, it would be easy enough to just go through. After waiting for a while, they found out eight years later that why she couldn't conceive was because she had fibroid, you know, and that's when they eventually sought to go the path of surrogacy, which you are embarking on today, understand? And of course, um, after meeting and that's after meeting with fertility specialists and you know going through a series of tests and things that they had to do, you know, and so this all I'm just saying is. I just want you to understand that this path you have chosen to take as a solution, it's, it's nothing bad or, as you might say, unorthodox, as it were, you know, because we also understand the um, sensitivity of issues like this, you know, and that's why it's best to, of course, sensitize the couple involved and make them understand that, look, we're here for you, and I've, I've beyond being your personal doctor, I've known you guys for years now, you know, and it will be a thing of joy to see that, yes, you're happy, you know, you know, D, you're my friend, yeah. you know, and we go way back, so I understand the need for this, you know, and um, of course, remember that fateful day when you said I do <laughs> to her. And we've been waiting. So just so you know that it, it, it's, it's possible and it, we can work around this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it looks funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, guess what? What is it? Selena and her husband already suggested a surrogate process. What? Mm-hmm. And whose idea is this? I don't know, but I think it's better than them. <sighs> well, have they gotten any volunteer yet? No. The doctor said when you find a trusted person, we'll call on them. That's the most important part. You know, having to get the, I mean, a trusted volunteer. They will. I hope so. <laughs> Wait, what's that smell? I don't bore your house. Jesus. <laughs> oh, real no. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, well, there's nothing we can do. We just have to, like, hang around in one of the city park. Yeah, Dr. Dogan. Yeah, she's right beside me. Okay. I'll send your regards to her. Yeah, bye. Nothing yet. Mr. and Mrs. Donovan, we could have had this discussion over the phone. But bearing the sensitive nature of of it, I decided to have a face-to-face -face with you people. Um, you know, ever since you signed up for the surrogate system, we've been searching and hoping to get um, a trusted volunteer, and it's not been easy. You know, that's why I came up with um, an idea I want to run by you and um, see what you think. Um, well, you see, Doctor, whatever it is, as long as it bothers on helping us solve this on pass. I think we're all in for it. Yes, Doctor. Tell us. We're here to listen. Um, what I'm about to say now, Madam, directly affects you. You have a sister. How old is she? She's 26 years old. Um, any plans of getting married soon? No, she's still in school. Okay. I don't know how you're going to take this, madam, but um, we believe that um, 
getting a volunteer for this surrogate system has to be someone trusted. You know, it's you can't go on this journey with someone you do not understand, you, you do not know or trust. Um, because we've had cases of betrayal in the past, and that's why we're very careful as to who we recommend as a volunteer. And um, because you know, having someone you trust means that you know they will not betray you. From my end of the table here, the best candidate I can think of is your sister. Can you ask her to help you? Help? <laughs> Salina, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't. What should Arison think? What would people think that I'm pregnant for my sister's husband? It's not possible. I can't do it. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't. I'm so sorry. It's not possible. Is everything okay with you? Please open the door. No, but you're looking. It's alright. Please open the door. You need to talk to me about it. You know. Baby, I mean, I don't like this look on your face. You know, you can always talk to me. Please, let's leave you. Baby. Can you please take me out of here? It's alright. You feel stressed. I just have to live. I have my whole life to live. Please. The thing is that I don't mind seeking for a career for you. Okay? Once I find one, I'll get back to you. Just take care of yourself, okay? All right, sis. Take care of yourself. Let me get you a drink or something. Um, Harrison, sit down. Look, what I'm about to discuss with you goes beyond us sharing drinks. Straight to the point. What I'm about to do does not involve for me to have sex with the second party. It's just for her to shell our baby for nine months. Well, Mr. Donovan, I have a little idea about the surrogate system. And it works. So basically, you should save yourself the details. As for Tyra, she's not ready to carry any baby for now. And even if she's ready, it's going to be our baby, not yours. Harrison, I understand your 
plight or the perspective from which you're looking at it. But look, what she's about to do, it's not like she's doing it for free. We're going to pay off. And then for you, if you can successfully convince her, I'll give you two million. I'll wire two million straight into your account and for her, 10 million as payoff. Just sick, Mr. Donovan. Get out of my house now. I said now, Mr. Donovan, get out of my house! Think about it. Can you imagine? Baby. Miss Darling. I have a gist for you. Yeah, go ahead. I went to see the doctor today and he said I'm pregnant. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's a call for celebration, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for you. Oh, sorry. I mean, I'm happy for us. Uh, we should celebrate this. Yeah. Yeah, we should, darling. Oh, God. That's so nice, you know. Wow. That's nice. Thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hello, Tyra. How are you doing? I saw Harrison today and he told me you're pregnant. Stop it, Tara. Stop saying that to me, you're hurting my feelings. Anyway, I just called to let you know that I'm a phone call away in case you need anything. I know you never, never Baby, give it some time. This will go your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you fall in love with someone, they make you feel like Spartacus. Or Gynecus. Make you feel like, say, you can walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. See the way I love you so. I don't want to let you go. But I just want to let you know, let you know that I love you so. Yeah. Beware your friend, beware your foe, beware your friend. See, Tara, I am not ready to give time to your jump questions, okay? When you find peace in making me sober every day, what have I done to deserve all this from you? You see, now you sound like a jam official. See, I've had too much to drink and I need to go and rest, okay? And you see. Harrison, you just kept quiet since. What have I done to deserve all this from you? Harrison, you know how much you convinced me just to accept for this. Harrison, I should have not listened to you. 
just look at me. My stomach keeps swelling every day by day. Just, just look at my falling breasts. Are you seeing? Are you seeing me? I'm tired though. Me, I'm tired though. I'm not the only one responsible for this pregnancy, yo. Me, I'm tired. You just have to carry it too. You have. To, are you seeing? I'm tired of this thing. I'm tired of this thing. I'm tired. Eh? Am I the only one responsible for this? Oh God. Hey, Harrison. Oh, Selena. <laughs> Hi, Tara in the pregnancy. Wow. Um, she's, she's good, actually. Um, you see, Selena, uh, Tara and the pregnancy is the reason why I'm actually here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, based on my calculations, Tara should be like six, seven months now, right? You're right. You see, Selena, this regular guy and I really don't have idea of living with a pregnant woman. At night, you know, sometimes she gets weak. I don't know what to give her, if it's Panadol or Parastamon. And at times she wants something to drink. I don't know if I should actually give her cold or warm, you know, water. So I was kind of like suggesting if you wouldn't mind Tyra actually moving back with you guys. Yeah, I don't mind. Really? Of course. As long as she, she's okay with it, why? Oh no, come on. Definitely she doesn't have a problem with that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is such a relief, you know. I can I, imagine. <laughs> I really should take my leave right now. Okay. Yeah, thank you okay, so much. Such a good news. <laughs> All right. Thank you. With someone, they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like say you can walk out from Lagos to Damascus. See the way I love you so. I don't wanna let you go. But I just want to let you know, let you know that I love you so. Yeah. Beware your friend, beware your foe, beware your friend. Just be what you say and what you do be real just be real just be real be on your intimate friend could be the one that cost your tears if you hold on everything will be okay i know you're stronger cause it's getting clever to me
don't wanna let you go But I just want to let you know Let you know That I love you so Tyra, why are you not eating your food? You won't like it if it gets cold. I don't like jello fries. I don't. I prefer fried eggs. Fried eggs? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want fried eggs. <laughs> Your tail, your pain, and your shame. I can feel your yearning. So don't give up. When you fall in love with someone, it they make you feel like Spartacus. Or Gynicus, make you feel like say you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Joshua! Joshua! Come on, open the gate! Open the gate, open the gate, you can. Baby, give it some time. Things we go your way. If you hold that, everything will be okay. I know you're nervous. Baby, give it some time. Things we go your way. I know you're stronger. Cause it's getting clever for me. I know you're stronger. Is here. Please don't touch my baby. Sorry, my darling. Oh, baby. baby. Hey, what's wrong with you? I'm talking. To See, you're not just helping your sister and her husband. <laughs> baby, you're helping us too. <laughs> baby, you're doing it for me. I mean, look at me. <laughs> you know my story. Do you know the family I came from? Tyra, just, just do this for us, please. Baby, this defy generation. And I promise you, if you do this, baby, I, I owe you my life. Yes. Confused. Just do it, please. I don't understand what you're insinuating. Please just do it. Please just do it. Please just do it. Please do it for us. Please, Tanya, do it. You mean that? I was only acting because I was bribed. Without further ado, 
Tyra, you know the reason where I gathered here? Um, I presume you have a copy of this document. You know, this baby should have been taken away from you long before now, but you requested that she be kept in your care for six months. And here we are. Please don't take my baby away from me. Tyra, there's no need to go on an emotional trip. You were counseled before we um, proceeded with all of this. I know it's hard for you. Well, look, you might have shielded the baby in your womb for nine months. But medically, she belongs to this couple here. So, that is the reason we dropped this document in the first place. So we know that all legal ties would cross every T and dot every I. So please, let's just move on. I applaud your, your bravery and, you know, your support. But we, we need to do the needful. <laughs> In the absence of anything else, I guess we have concluded here. Okay. to call your attention to. What? My family and I will be traveling abroad. When? In two weeks. But my husband will be coming back with us. <laughs> Have you heard from Harrison? Nothing yet. Tara, you made a big mistake for allowing that guy have possession over that huge Excuse me. I don't have time for this Kukabu story. When you fall in love with someone, they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like say you can walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. See the way I love you so. I don't want to let you go. But I just want to let you know, let you know that I love you so. Yeah. Beware your friend, beware your foe, beware your friend. Just beware what you say and what you do. Beware, just beware. Even your intimate friend could be the one that cuts your tears. If you hold on, everything will be okay. I know you're stronger, cause it's getting clever to me.
money, they make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like, say, you can walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. See the way I love you so. What happened? <laughs> if anything happens to that baby, I'm going to strangle her! <laughs> what is this? God. I mean, if she needed more money, she should have simply asked, rather than going this far. How could she have done that to her own sister? Didn't I tell you to convince Danova to let my friend Thelma do the surrogate? Did you agree? No, you did not agree. See what happens now. <laughs> Are you happy about all this? Oh, I can't wait to tell them about this. This is the oddest. <laughs> Trust my blood sister. Oh. I thought she can fill in the emptiness and fill in the vacuum. How could she do this to me? It's okay. Betrayal does not come from enemies, <laughs> but from people we call friends. You should know that we will pray, we will continue to pray. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mr. Donovan. Yeah, officer. Um, I just want to confirm to you that um, I've cited Tara now. Where? Beside that, um, that hotel. Look, look, look. Do whatever you can within your power, just hold her down. No, 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 trust me, it's her job. I've actually even called for backup. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. All right, all right. Thank you so much. If there is any other thing, I will let you know. Yeah, I'll be there. We will be there. Move it! Do not move, okay? Yes, sir. Alright.
Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Where is she? Swansea. Second room by the left, upstairs. By the left? Yeah. You heard that? S officer, you stay here. Two, two of you, let's go. Yeah, Oscar Charlie, yeah. I want surveillance on this hotel now. Full surveillance, no movement. And you, no customer should move. All right. Everybody should stay in their rooms. All right, sir. Don't flout my order. All right, sir. Move it. Let's go. Uh, Where is she? Uh, She's here, sir. Uh, what happened? I don't know. Uh, what is this in her hand? Hey. Uh, Can I have a what? Uh, take, take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, oh. Selena. Uh, hello, 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 Roger. Roger. I heard you. Roger, yeah, Oscar, Oscar Shelley. We I need an ambulance now at the crime scene. An ambulance. There is an emergency. Calm down. Uh, the ambulance is coming. Uh, <sighs> Selena. Hello, Rover, Rover. The ambulance. We need an ambulance. There is an emergency. Ambulance. I won't be able to conceive again, right? Roger that, roger oh. that. Oh. Are you surprised? <laughs> I heard you. I heard you when you took it to a quick Oh, Selena. <laughs> Selena, you <laughs> betrayed me. Come on, check if the ambulance has arrived. Oh, Selena. <laughs> Your story, your tale, your pain, and your shame. I can feel your yearning. So don't give up, keep trying. Your story, got change. Happiness, dominate. Your happiness, dominate. Dominate. No, no, no. They make you feel like Spartacus or Gynecus. Make you feel like say you can't walk out from Lagos to Damascus. Hola. See the way I love you so. I don't wanna let you go. But I just want to let you know, let you know that I love you so. Yeah. Beware your friend, beware your foe, beware your friend. Just beware what you say and what you do Beware, just beware Even your intimate friend Could be the one that cause your tears 